Hi all folks, this is Max from TransformerPrimeRoot.com um, So finally there's like two or three ROMs available for Transformer Prime I've been actually waiting a week or two because uh, usually the beta versions um, they have, they're buggy but now it's been uh, almost two weeks since the first ROM came out so let's go install uh, let me show you how to install the Virtuous Prime ROM um, which is one of the best ROMs out right now since it's in uh, the third version um, so first, download the ROM file. I have the links below in my description or my blog post. Um, download it and then copy it over to um, your Transformer Prime. I'll show you how to do this. Um, download this this file, Virtuous Prime, or the whatever the latest version is. Right now it's version 2 as of this video. I'm um, doing right click copy and then go to your Transformer Prime. You can do this on Win, Mac or Linux. Go to your internal storage. Um, put it anywhere there. I, I usually put it in my download folder so I can find it. And then you can do right click paste and uh, you should have um, that there. I've copied it over before so I'm not going to do it again. So let's go back to our Transformer Prime. Next we're going to um, basically put our, um, you can take the USB cable out. We're going to put our Transformer Prime into Clockwork Mod Recovery Mode. Um, you have to have your Transformer Prime rooted with Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If you don't, uh, go to my site, transformerprimeroot.com. I have root methods there, everything you need there, and I'm going to make an FAQ. So if you see the FAQ, just read the FAQ and follow everything there. And once you have rooted uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, um, you're good to go. And I'm just going to hold down the volume down and the power button. And hold it down for about 10 seconds. Uh, until you see a bunch of letters on the top top left left top corner and also make a backup of your stock ROM it makes it really easy to revert back to your stock ROM and also and let go when you see that and hit volume up right away and it'll say booting kernel image right there right. and make sure you make a backup uh, like I said um, because if you don't make a backup, um, it's just gonna. Right now, I don't think there's the stock images for it. So um, go to backup and restore. Hit backup if you haven't before you do this. And if you don't do it and you you ask me how to restore my Transformer Prime, I'm not gonna answer back because you know I even made a video for you to um, back it up. So back it up um, if you haven't. And once you've done that, we're gonna do wipe data factory reset and make sure you back up all your apps using Titanium backup app. Um, that will back up all your apps so you don't have to reinstall it manually from um, the Play Store or the market or whatever. Uh, wipe data factory reset, hit the power button, say yes, hit the power button. And this will wipe your personal settings data. It won't touch the uh, your media like photos or videos. That, will, that won't be touched. And once this is done, uh, we're going to go, uh, actually let's take it slow here. So I've been waiting for uh, Transformer Prime ROMs, um, just, you know, I think right now it's a great time to install a new ROM. There's two ROMs out, I'm going to have both uh, ROM reviews, um, and it should give you better battery life and faster. Uh, when that is done, you're going to go to install zip from SD card, hit the power button, Choose it from SD card, hit the power button, and go to the folder where you uh, copy the ROM file over earlier, which is download for me. And then go find the ROM file, um, which is Virtuous Prime, and uh, hit the power button. Say yes, hit the power button. And this will actually, for this ROM, this ROM's really cool, it will actually load up its own uh, installation system which is really cool. So if you don't want bloatware, um, you can actually choose it here. So hit next here, and hit next. And uh, you have three choices. You can do, uh, whoops. You can do uh, typical, complete, or minimalist. Um, eh. Basically, Typical will uh, install most of the stock ROMs, only some apps removed. Minimalist, it's going to remove you know most of the stock apps, or all of the stock apps. And complete is all stock apps installed. Um, I don't really find all the stock apps too bad, not, not too bloaty. So I'm going to just use the complete. So you have a choice here, which is really cool. 
install now. Set it aside for like five minutes and it'll install. You just hit reboot button and you should be on the new Virtuous Prime uh, ROM. And I really like this menu. Um, this shows how how much um, Android ROM development has come and uh, it's gonna eventually become you know simpler and simpler like this which is really cool um, so I'm looking really forward to it and uh, anyway this is almost installing <laughs> this is really cool because um, it's all graphical and stuff you can even see the percentage um, Transformer Prime I would say it's still a very good device I know there's a lot of stuff coming out um, only thing I've noticed with Asus products just in general even with my older uh, Transformer um, tablet is that the ROM development is a lot slower um, and a lot of times Asus always try to lock down the um, lock down stuff the rooting methods and stuff which really sucks and I think that's why a lot of developers are staying away from it um, whereas like the Galaxy Tab series I think a little bit more ROMs a little bit more development easier to develop uh, when the Galaxy Note 10.1 comes out, I'll probably get it uh, because of that. It's not just the features, performance, you know, it's also the ROM development which makes Android much cooler than and, uh, Apple iOS. Um, and I always try to go for a tablet device that, you know, gives you a lot more uh, freedom to install more ROMs and more development, um, which ultimately gives you better experience for those of you who are willing to install new custom ROMs uh, instead of being stuck on you know crappy stock ROMs you know it's not the stock ROMs from Samsung or Asus that are cool it's that you can install these awesome um, custom ROMs uh, and anyway that's done hit next and uh, finish and this will reboot you into um, the new uh, Virtuous Prime ROM. It's supposed to be uh, a little bit better than stock with um, the Odex and all that, all that good stuff. So it should give you better battery life, uh, great performance. Even though it's great performance already on stock, um, and also you know it's good to be on a custom ROM. I, I love being on a custom ROM. Why, why be on a stock ROM? And if, even if there's an update for a new uh, stock ROM, don't worry about it. If you wait like a day or two, there there will always be a custom ROM with that update um, rooted. So there's never need to unroot for that reason. If you want to unroot um, to return it to your, you know, for warranty, yes, but never otherwise. I get a hundred questions about that every day for all kinds of Android devices, but the answer is no. Don't update. Just wait till a rooted uh, version of the OTA. ROM is available. It'll be available as a custom ROM. It'll be the exact same thing as the OTA update, but with root, and also a ton of ROMs. You know, maybe a week later after that. So once you're on a custom ROM, you'll never go back. You know, and you'll keep checking out my channel because it's the best YouTube channel for Android. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm just joking, but but it is the best. You know, um, so. I, I see that there's more raving fans for Android now. Um, it wasn't like that like six months ago. I think it's just getting like you know crazier now that people, a lot of people, notice that you can install these custom ROMs. You can fully customize it, overclock your device, you know, throw it, blend it. You can't, you can't do this with iPad. Uh, which I'll have a uh, actually. I, I ordered an iPad three. Uh, or the new iPad, so I, I can have a review of it. Um, compare it side by side. You know, you you have to know your enemy before you know you can beat them. So that's why I got it. I need to really compare, um, see what the features are. You know, I'm just you know, I, and plus I'm not. I you know I'm 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 not. Um, what is it? I'm a fair guy. I'm not gonna be like you know Android is better just because it is better. Um, it is better, that's why I'm saying it is. And uh, you know, since I don't have an iPad, I'll get it and show you that Android is better. You know, one, one of the things I really like about um, uh, that uh, Android stuff is they usually come, um, they're a lot more durable. Like this one I think comes with Gorilla Glass or whatever. It's, you know, where the iPad always comes with, iPhone and iPad, they always come with um, glass that's so you know it shatters anytime you drop it um, so there you go and uh, start and do your settings 
and that's how you install this ROM. I'll have a full review of this. And if you have a Transformer Prime, um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at transformerprimeroot.com where we update you uh, once or twice a week when I have time. And it's just for you and me. I don't share your email with anyone else. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, um, if you would hit that like button, um, subscribe to my channel and uh, share with other friends who have an Asus Transformer Prime, I would thank you very much. And thanks you guys again for supporting my channel. I'm going to try to make my channel even better than the best YouTube channel for Android right now. I'm going to be, you know, better than myself <laughs> every day. Alright, see y'all later. Hope you hate it.